Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the MG Hector. I can actually call it a facelift but MG calls it new generation but nothing has changed mechanically so how is it a new generation model but anyways a lot seems to have changed firstly they've got a new color so this is actually the new color which actually looks quite nice but before we start let me talk and show you actually this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses this is the Involve Rainforest Pure Wood it is a very soothing and relaxing perfume in fact the fragrance is just amazing firstly it's concentrated and secondly it's got essential oils which are blended resulting in a fantastic smell especially for big cars like these in fact you can click on the top right corner of the screen to get yours with a 10% discount using coupon code FASTBEAM now, straight away let me tell you that the size of the car is actually very similar than before or when compared to before they've just made it more blingy so Cadillac Escalade type big fat grill here this is known as the diamond mesh grill with these sort of studs of course the grill is huge i won't be surprised that tomorrow mg will launch a car which will not have lights it will only have a grill at the front now the thing is this is the mg logo this is the front camera of course and this is the panel for adas because now it has got internet outside and adas inside it's got dynamic swipe indicators which look quite nice a lot of chrome here and there and you've got this piano black finishing too it looks quite bold. In fact, it looks better in person than it looks in pictures. Light placement here, so low beam, high beam, and this is the fog light of the vehicle. You've got parking sensors everywhere. You've got chrome there also on the bumper. Straight away, we are actually going to be opening the engine bay, and there it is. It says MG Turbo. Now, this is the petrol engine, which is a 1.5 liter unit. It produces 143 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. It's quite silent and refined. In fact, there is insulation there. There is where the washer fluid goes. I like the way they have actually packaged stuff here, which is quite nice. Oh, but the hood is really very heavy. Now you can see the car. What do you think about the design of the Hector? I think they could have made more changes, but they've just made the grill bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But it looks quite nice in person, honestly. Now, the thing is that they've dropped the DCT gearbox, so it's no longer available with the fuel sapping dual clutch transmission. Instead, it continues with the CVT. This is the CVT. That is a CVT. They just want to push the CVT for no reason. So you can get this with a manual. You can get this with a CVT. And you can also get it with a hybrid, which is a mild hybrid, which gives 20 Newton meters of extra boost under acceleration. But the power remains the same. 143 horsepower and 250 Newton meters of torque. If you're buying the Hector, take my advice. Go opt for the diesel. 2 liter diesel comes from Jeep, of course, and is also used in the Harrier and the Safari. It produces 170 horsepower and 350 Newton meters of torque. Only a manual transmission, which is very disappointing because come on, we need automatic. We don't need a bigger grill. We need an automatic, of course. Wheel size, wheel design, everything is the same as before. 215 18s. Alloy wheel design is actually quite nice, so they didn't have to change it to get this bold cladding, of course. It says Morris Garage right here. Morris Garage is actually... Request sensor is here. Request sensor is on the other side as well. There's a camera placement here. In fact... That is for the lane keep assist, yes, so it's got, I think, five cameras and from the side, the profile and everything remains the same, so nothing has changed as such, but quality levels could be better because Faisal Khan's fingers of measurement have measured this, this is actually a little wider compared to the one on the other side, so panel gaps are there, which is a bit disappointing, does it open? No, you have to open it from inside, of course. From the rear, I like I told you, internet has gone outside because it is it as written right here. So that stickering is gone because now everybody knows. This is an internet car, okay. They have got this treatment back, but this is actually the brake light treatment. Okay, it's got these sort of blades, of course. Looks quite overdone, especially those exhausts look hideous. Like, what is this? Who designed this in the first place? Fingers of Truth are disappointed with the fake exhaust. So Fingers of Truth will have to find the real ones right here. And that is the spare wheel, which is not an alloy. So obviously they have done cost cutting. 215-60-17 is the size of the tyre. So smaller size tyres, of course. You can see the underbody. And there is this chrome thing. Rear parking sensors. Reflector treatment there. I believe that will be the reverse light. You can see the light is on for the number plate, which says it's a human thing. I thought it's an animal thing. There is a camera there, of course. Says Hector right there. So they could have actually toned down how, you know, this is a bit hideous, honestly. Just so overdone. But now everybody wants to do this continuous light treatment, of course. Dynamic swipe indicators. There's a rear wiper. There's the high mounted stop lamp, a spoiler, shark fin antenna. Let's actually open the boot. There it opens. Power tailgate, of course. Yeah. So now the light switches from there to there. Nice thing to copy Audi there because Audi does that with its Q models where automatically the light switches down here. Anyways. 
The boot is quite big because this boot also accommodates another row of seats in the Hector Plus. Parcel shelf is actually big, but it doesn't really shut much because I can actually, one second, how? Yeah, I can pull. Okay, it does go quite a bit. So, boot carrying capacity is decent, and uh, there's a clip here. I think speakers and all that will be there. Light placement is here, of course. Let's just pull this up, and I can actually slot it somewhere like that. Yeah, okay. The thing is, my battery is gone completely. Anyways, there's some storage space here as well. And I think the battery has been placed here. What is placed here? You guys have to guess whether it's a battery or the subwoofer of the vehicle. But yeah, very practical. Now the real USP of this car. Firstly, let's shut this. Power tailgate, of course, takes its own sweet time. You can actually decide from the uh, sorry infotainment system how much you want this to open. That's also quite nice. And because MG is a British car company, we have got all of these things. The UK famous places. Yeah, see that tower and all that stuff. But we all know that MG belongs to a Chinese car company and everything happens in China. Although the brand MG is, uh, of course, a British brand. But Faisal Khan's fingers of truth, again, disappointed with this fake stuff happening here. Why? Why? Why do we need that? Anyways, coming to the side of the vehicle, it looks the same as before. Nothing has changed. So from the side profile, no one will recognize you're driving an updated model. Thankfully, there's a request sensor on the other side. Big thumbs up for that. Now, there is good amount of space on offer and that is the real USB of this car. Huge in terms of rear seat space. So that's something which you will really appreciate. This is some plastic panel which has been removed sheet. Door pockets are decent here. Nice uh, finishing. Infinity tweeters, speakers. Says Morris Garage is right here. Let's just remove it. Yeah, that was so satisfying. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of hard plastics, okay? Like plenty of scratchy hard plastics doors open wide enough but come on they could have given this a sun blind at least manual one now there's so much space it's unbelievable isofix child seat mounts let me get inside floor is completely flat so three people can sit in comfortably there i can stretch okay the batteries play somewhere there in the hybrid of course and then you can see this good amount of space leg room knee room is not an issue at all this is not scooped out but there's a magazine holder here ac controls right there a regular usb charging socket is here there's some storage space here height adjustable seat belts for front seats of course and under thigh support is decent it's not the best though and then here i'm just going to open the center armrest which has got twin cup holders every passenger gets a head the center passenger gets a head yes that's an achievement so you can adjust the headrest if you want light placement here on the top there's a hook there's a handle to hold on to and the dashboard design has changed which is the biggest change in this particular car yeah, mechanically it is the same as before, which means a soft suspension, lot of body roll, comfortable low speed ride, not the best high speed ride because of vertical movement and handling is so so steering does not have feel. But then people buy it for the comfort, of course, to drive it in the city. Now let me do one thing. Let me just get out from here. But there is so much space, which is hugely impressive. And then if you want to carry more, no problem. Firstly, the seats actually recline. Okay, so if I do this, yeah. That is the upright position, that's the recline position. And then I can also put the seat down, for which probably I will need both my hands or I can just improvise there. I did that. Yeah, now you can split it 60, 40, of course, to increase the boot carrying capacity. Why is this? Okay, this actually sticks there with Velcro. So you can just increase the room as much as you like. We're going to recline it on the other side as well. To show, I mean, I want to show you how much space you can carry. It's a very good thing that they've just like, Given so much space in the center and that's the USB of this car. Just look at it, it can actually carry a freaking house. Yeah, that's right, it can carry a house. It says here that it's a CVT, by the way, I was showing you the panel gap here. Now, fingers of measurement will show you that there's a difference in the panel gap. So that's something which could have been better. Yeah, so I expect MG to improve quality here. But people who buy this car really do not care about this. What they care about is, kitne features am I? And that's something where MG is completely nailing it. Now you look at this, I can actually carry a freaking house. Yeah, this parcel shelf can be removed. Huge, huge. That's what she said. Anyways, let's just shut this. Band ho ja bhai. Now this car has got 75 uh, connected car features, 100 voice commands, and then for uh, guidance, navigation that is, five voice languages, which means that you have English, you have Hindi, you have Marathi, you have Tamil, and you've got Punjabi as well, which is crazy. Four way adjust. Uh, I mean, there also you've got adjustment, so you can adjust for the camera setting there, so the seat can be adjusted electrically, it's powered there too, 
It's powered here as well, which is quite nice. Says Morris Garages here. Door pockets are big enough here. Nice treatment. Illumination seems to be there on all the switches, but it seems to be one touch only for the driver. Controls for the outside rear view mirror adjustment has been given here. And then I can press a button and I can shut this if I want. Meanwhile, these are the controls for the cruise control. No, no, this is the brightness of the cluster. And this is to open the boot of the vehicle. You can see the ambient light. It is actually changing colors. So it's got eight colors for the ambient lighting. And you can have this rainbow effect as well. There's a proper dead pedal there. There's some storage space here. And then obviously that is to open the fuel lid as well as to open the hood of the vehicle. Seats seem very nice and comfortable. Dash one has been completely revised. So that is the real USB of this updated model. It says key is not found. Anyways, first and foremost, I'll shut the indicator of the vehicle. And then I'm going to show you something really very cool. First and foremost, why do I keep saying that again and again? Okay, steering wheel is adjustable both for reach as well as rake. Let's just turn off the lights. Okay, notice one thing. Notice the indicator. Okay, I'm just standing and then I turn. Automatically, the indicator turns. Yeah. I turn left automatically the left indicator turns so it's got another new feature which is basically auto turn indicators isn't that absolutely crazy so basically when you're parking getting out of park and all that stuff when you twirl the steering wheel the indicator auto turns on and obviously this is not meant to be used while maneuvering on the road because you can't just turn and then the indicator flashes first you need to give the indicator then turn obviously now there's some storage space here in the glove box this is the very chindi first aid kit which i have seen for a car which costs almost 26 lakh rupees the glove box is also small and it's not cool i believe hard plastics plenty this is soft material so soft material there the big highlight is of course this massive and this time when i say massive i mean really massive 14 inch vertical screen so the earlier model had 10.4 uh, inch this one has become hugely bigger anyways let me actually put this tag here and show you how easy it is to use this amazing perfume from involve your senses so all i need to do is just open it and i will just spray it once and twice and that's it it brings amazing fragrance inside the car it's a lovely smelling perfume i like it a lot now you've got twin cup holders here this is deep but not wide enough and there is a 12 volt charging socket the position is very weird they could have had it in a better position this obviously slides ahead and behind you've got this uh, you know double stitching which is nice this is for the parking sensors this is for auto hold this is for the electric parking brake again they have this beautiful silverish finishing this arrow treatment and toggle switches which look quite nice there's a wireless charging pad there but before that let me actually use the wipers there you see there is good amount of spray on offer of course here you get a mirror along with the light there is this uh, strap here for your toll receipts but you should get a fast tag probably and same is the case there as well no strap though now there is a cup holder not a cup holder this is actually a sunglass holder facel and light placement here now thing is that i will open the sunroof but i should do it from this screen because it's more interesting so i will straight away press this button and here i can decide how much i want to slide it open so i can decide 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent or open it completely 100 percent there it will take a few days to react and then it does and then it opens it so it's a very nice big sunroof in this car and because of the massive sunroof even Tata Motors decided let's give it in the Harrier because the Hector had started this whole trend I believe. So that is the sunroof and I can also close it from here by just sliding it so I can do it via this switch right here. It's a bit slow with the touchscreen of course and I can also do it with voice commands by saying something like you know show me the sky and all that open the sunroof. So that's kind of cool. Auto dimming mirror of course and now it's closing this blind as well. So I'm just going to use this button. Thankfully we have a dedicated button for this to open the sun blind which is a nice touch. The seats are actually quite nice and comfortable. I definitely like it. I love this treatment on the seats so that's kind of cool as well. Now the steering wheel is the same as before and they've actually jumbled up the buttons so which is a bit disappointing. Now, these are the controls for the cruise control system but these are to browse through that screen and then this is also to browse through that screen but the other controls are for the audio system and this is for phone calls. So a little bit mumbo jumbo happening here. In fact uh, I'll show you the screen in a bit. The horn horn is very meek actually they could have had a better horn for sure because that's something you expect but this screen really steals the show people are going to buy this car just for the screen so let me get into the home function and then i can just zoom in zoom in like that to show you the map so it's got map my india it's got 
all these cool bits which is quite nice so it will take some time connected car features obviously so it's connected so it knows what it has to do what do you think about the dashboard design now since this car has got mg pilot which is a slew of adas functions it's got something known as bend cruise assistance which is basically the adaptive cruise control system that thing also works through the bends and there's something known as traffic jam assist which basically works with the adaptive cruise control system along with lane keep assist to actually work in slow speeds in traffic situations to do stop go movements which is very handy because most people are going to drive this car in the city but another important thing is lane keep assist actually works after 60 km per hour but now they have tuned it to work below 60 km per hour and automatic emergency braking actually reduces the speed by 40 km per hour you know when it detects it's going to collide with something but if it is under 40 it will come, make the car come to a halt as well so all these things are there so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to show you this quickly so we get into the settings here they are driving assistant so forward collision warning is there lane departure warning is there intelligent high beam assist is there all these things are there plus adaptive cruise control lane keep assist like whatever we have seen in other cars but here they have added even more in terms of ADAS functions which is quite nice now let's get into vehicle settings there's something known as ambient lighting here you can see there are eight colors for the ambient lighting and you can decide the timing from 1 to 20 seconds how you want the colors to change i'll just keep it constant and then i'm going to talk to mg hello mg yes i want to see the rainbow okay light mode is random and set lowest frequency isn't that interesting so voice commands actually work quite well and then obviously it's got english voice commands you've got all that so they're really working on the technology aspect rather than getting a diesel automatic they're doing all these gimmicks anyways here you get all these settings which is very easy to operate and yeah you can decide all this which is nice slick enough now the screen is slicker than before earlier one wasn't that great wireless charging pad is here so you can also have some information on that there's a tire pressure monitor which you can also access here this is an amazing screen. This 14 inch screen is amazing, but it's a fingerprint magnet, which you can see at the moment. And the overall quality of the screen has definitely improved when compared to before. The earlier screen was a little laggy. This is still laggy, but it's slightly faster than before. You've got Geo Savon, you've got Park Plus, you've got MG Weather, you've got all these things which have been added, but this is not working at the moment. I think the SIM card needs a top up. And this is the navigation, which is also quite cool. The biggest USB, of course, is the 360 degree camera. So I'm just going to turn it on. Quality is definitely improved from before but it's still not the best so you can see this very nice right but the 3d view is even better and there you can just browse it so it's not very slick what i've seen with german cars like i'm turning it it, it just like cannot go all the way it has these angles set quarter side like that but it's nice i really like the way this has been done and then you can decide a lot of things like their guidelines which are obviously adaptive here so in this huge screen this particular camera system looks fantastic honestly anyways let's listen to an audio right away audio quality is nice obviously we've got infinity system i think there are eight speakers four speakers and four tweeters tweeters are there speakers are somewhere there or maybe probably more as well i think maybe 10 or something but yeah audio quality is actually quite impressive and then you can also see a video here through a usb and all that talk stuff talking about usb there is this usb socket oh my god yeah there is one usb socket here yeah that is about it where is the usb c when you need it there it doesn't seem to be one so one second let me open this yeah so this is the one which is another usb so two usbs this connects to apple carplay and android auto connectivity in fact it says android auto here apple carplay there and uh, you see these buttons this is for seat ventilation which is a bit loud you'll hear it right now it's like a jet engine <laughs> takeoff sound air conditioning control here this is for the hazard light this is for traction control system and this is for the passenger's ventilation beautiful treatment here on the gear lever so here easy to shift all this let's get into reverse you see the reverse parking camera immediately comes right there let me just get out of it there's a eco mode button when you press this you know it is pressed but it doesn't show me an eco display somehow which is kind of weird okay rest of the things i've actually shown you but this is the real highlight of this car now that is actually a seven inch screen yeah that's seven inch and then you can browse through a lot of information like you can see twin trip meters driving time there's the tire pressure monitor as well and then you can continue to browse it's giving you fatigue driving information and the likes so yes it's easy but it's still not the best looking i kind of find it average looking at best this cluster this could have been better it's a lot similar to what we have seen before in the older hector of course mg logo right here steering feels nice to hold the whole treatment is also nice like the way the vents have been done for the air conditioning too so overall certainly 
a much needed upgrade in terms of the interiors but honestly it needed better performance by having a diesel automatic i feel so this is the start stop button for the engine again it's a revised button and there are some panel gaps here and there so quality is not really faultless because there's something hanging out from there but honestly owners will not really care much about all this now thing is i'm actually going to turn off the car by using this button and let's get out goodbye yeah it turned on the hazard it told me goodbye it's showing me exactly which door is open it does all that which is quite sweet the price will obviously increase so i believe the price of the top end diesel manual which is going to be the most expensive with adas will be almost 26 lakh rupees yeah which is similar to the harrier okay it automatically shuts so it has this approach and leaving thing to automatically lock and unlock the car the harrier is more expensive because the harrier also comes with diesel automatic and a lot of pointless limited edition variants as well so that's what's going to be the pricing this is the key of the vehicle this is to unlock the car this is to lock the car this is to open the boot of the vehicle if i keep this button pressed will all the windows roll down yeah, no no it cannot roll down oh it does oh my god oh my goodness how did it do that i can't believe it did the sunroof open yes the sunroof also open wait a second this is not a one touch up and down window then how is this happening or probably it is because when i press this lock button there you see oh, oh first it's going to give preference to the sunroof the sunroof goes up once it closes the sunroof then only it decides now it's time to close the sun blind as well when are you going to shut the windows boss because that's something i'm waiting for and it's a huge delay my fingers are paining right now because i've kept this button pressed i think i have to press it again and no it is not rolling back up the windows but it actually closes the panoramic roof however it cannot roll back up the windows so using this key you can open and close the sunroof and you can open all the windows but you cannot close all the windows which is a weird cost cutting in fact i understand it has got this function of auto roll down but you cannot auto roll down other windows other than the driver window of course which is again weird this does not go down all the way which is again a little disappointing i would say and straight away let's actually turn on the car so as soon as i get inside and turn it on it shows me the mg logo there it shows mg logo here also the startup time is a lot it takes quite a lot of time to actually start it up good we are on this air conditioning menu because i wanted to show you this i turn on the air conditioning the nice graphics pm 2.5 air filter it's showing me the aqi which is quite bad at almost 200 but saying moderate to it anyways there are these buttons here so it's just easy to browse through stuff like this a little laggy at times but the screen takes a lot of time to boot up so it's a very slow screen so they need to put a bigger fatter more faster processor as well so guys this was a sort of a quickish look of the mg hector updated model they call it new gen it's not no mechanical changes on this car will drive the same as before but looks way better on the inside Although on the outside they thought there's not much broken, why fix it in the first place? But has a lot of presence as well. And I will quickly show you the rear of that car. So cleaning is in progress. And don't forget to check out this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. This is the Involve Rainforest Pure Wood. It is fantastic. Somehow this treatment is better highlighted on a car which is not red colored. Bye bye.